How's it going, everybody? I am going to go over how to recognize price manipulation with a hedge fund, and I'm going to use the stock Resolute Energy Corporation, REN, as an example. Uh, as you can see today, 713, the stock jumped about 15% towards the end of the day. It started off, it was down and not a whole lot going on. There was some volume, some decent volume, and some trading up uh, back and forth. But as you can see, uh, around 1.45 p.m., all of a sudden there was a huge short squeeze and it exploded. You know, it was down a few percent. Nobody was paying much attention. Then it happens to explode here and it blows and goes up 15% and ends up, you know, around the eight resistance area, which uh, is resistance on the two year chart. If you look at the two year chart, I'll break it. I'll pull it up real quick. Uh, you can see around the eight area here is what, what, it, what it found, um, which is pretty strong resistance. And then it had some trouble, double topped, and it dropped down to about 750 after hours. Now, this to me is obviously orchestrated. Uh, they probably knew there was a pretty good size short position here, so you know they start buying up, start hitting it with the algorithms. The algorithms start churning. They're buying and selling, and they start running it up, and it explodes to up 15%. Okay. Um, and, and now my guess is what they're going to do is around 8, which is that resistance, also happens to be the $8 was the uh, price target by a few analysts, including Barclays, from today. I'll pull that up right here. You can see Barclays upgrade Resolute Energy to equate, uh, list price target to 8 from $4. So it happens to be an $8 price target that Barclays put on it, and it happened to end up right at $8, which is uh, pretty convenient in my opinion. Um, and if you take a look... If we look back uh, about five days, you'll see something else that's very convenient. Goff Capital took a stake on the 8th, supposedly, according to the form SC13DA. Uh, yeah, let's check right here. You can see that the uh, form SC13DA, John Goff, Goff Capital, it was on, let's see, uh, you can see, uh, there's Goff Capital, you can see that on July 8th. That's the date of the event which requires filing of this statement. So July 8th is when they took the position. And you can see that, of course, once they took the position on the 8th, uh, or for all we know, they could be taking uh, positions in uh, other other companies or friends taking positions for them prior to them actually starting their own position with Golf Capital. But we know they took a position on the 8th. And as you can see, it's exploded since they took their position conveniently all the way to eight. So they're you know they're getting they're close to you know a 300% gain from say three dollars. If it was at nine, they'd have 300% gain, um, which is which is insane return. So to think that they are going to hold this position for the longer term when they've already made 100% plus on the stock is just kind of uh, kind of naive. You know, chances are they're going to unload this position or they already have sold some of it and then there's going to be some bleeding that starts. And like I said, the upgrade, the $8 upgrade, there was three upgrades that conveniently came in right after Golf Capital took their position. Okay, and that's not a coincidence. You know, they get a hold of their buddies, the analysts, you know, the media puppets, and once they take the position, they have them do the upgrade. So there were three upgrades, and at least two of them were $8 price targets, and it's exactly where the stock hit today. So... Uh, but this is the kind of game they play, and, and they make money by selling their, their big position to the retail traders that start to chase it once it makes the move. So retail traders are now coming in, they're buying it up, thinking it's going to go higher. They're, you know, buy, 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 you know, real bullish and all this, and, and that's about when the hedge funds switch gears and they take the position on the short side and they start to control the bleeding and they're either selling off their position or they're shorting the stock and they're making money on the downside as well and, and meanwhile we're the ones we're the true puppets the retailers that aren't aware of this we're the ones that they're taking advantage of if we didn't exist these hedge funds could not make money so they count on us chasing their stock so this is what's going on this happens all the time this is not a one-time incident it happens on a regular basis. So if you can recognize it, you can make a lot of money by getting in and going long with the stock or knowing when the trend has changed and hitting it on the short side as they control the bleeding. Okay, um, I see this happen, you know, I've seen this a lot recently. Uh, SGY is another energy stock. Uh, as you can see up here, it's also, it's NASDAQ deficient. Uh, REN is NASDAQ deficient, which means it's below the continuing listing standards. So 
the company needs to get their stock back up, which might be part of this move. They need to get their stock above a certain price to maintain the NASDAQ listing. Now, SGY, same thing. They were also a NASDAQ deficient. Let me pull it up. They were a NASDAQ deficient stock, as you can see here. There it is. Stone Energy Corporation below continued listing, listing standards. And that thing's been running huge the last several days. And another thing that's it's kind of funny, if you look at UWTI, which is a great uh, way to gauge what you know oil's doing, it was down 11.4% today. So it was down, and, and REN, the energy stock, is up 15% at the end of the day. It's just, it's kind of, it's kind of strange. Usually, these energy stocks, especially the smaller cap, will kind of follow UWTI, okay? Um, it's, lo it's the long crude here. So keep an eye on that to gauge your energy stocks. And look for and be sure you recognize, you know, if you see upgrades or if you see, um, you know, you, find, you see form SC13Ds popping up that are, that are showing, you know, stakes, pay attention to the stakes because there's a reason these guys are getting in. They expect the stock to go up or they plan to push it up themselves with algorithmic trading. They use algorithms to push it up. It's, it's all, it's all uh, computer basically now. And the algorithms start churning, they start kicking in, and they move the stock up or down. A lot of buying, a lot of selling. I mean, I would guess that most of the volume today was probably Goff Capital. And maybe some other hedges are involved, or, you know, and some friends, people connected to some of the analysts, and, and um, you know, they're all in this thing together. So look out for this stuff and capitalize on it. Make money on the way up, and uh, then when you can tell that. The bleeding has started, and it's getting kind of top-heavy, and consolidation is taking place. Like here, if you look at Ren, you can see that it's having trouble in the 8 area. That's where the analysts had their price target, $8. And let me pull that up for you. So you can see Benzinga here, uh, Barclays upgraded Resident Energy, equal weight from underweight, raising its price target to $8. Well, it's already at the $8. It's already made it to that price, so now's a good time for them to start selling. Uh, since it's already hit the target, okay, and I believe there was two other, uh, there was three ratings in one day, I believe on the 11th, uh, upgrades on it, conveniently right after Golf Capital took their stake, which is obviously that's not a coincidence, you know, they uh, they they're definitely getting a hold of their buddies or they have media puppets in their back pocket and they're having them do the upgrades after they take their stake. It's, and the funny thing is it's real obvious, it's, it's out there, so it's surprising to me that more people don't pick up on this and, and realize what's going on. Um, let's take a look through here some more. Let's see. Um, yeah, here you go. Three analyst upgrades in one day. You can see that they're pushing it. Let's go to the street. The street was pushing it. They've got it out there. You know, raised to buy. Look, here you go. Raised again here. And, um, oh, go figure. $8 price target <laughs> from another firm. Let's go in here. Let's see. Uh, here's another little article talking about REN as well. High price target of the company share is at five dollars, which is already way past five. And let's let's see what we got here. That's that's the same article as before. But anyway, you can see that all the upgrades came conveniently after Golf Capital took their stake. The stock moved up well over a hundred plus percent right after they took their stake. It's conveniently at eight dollars, which is right where the analysts put the target. And now I'm guessing that this is probably going to start bleeding. Could pop a little bit off this support here. Seven fifty support is the key. Once it cracks that, I think it goes a lot lower. Um, and as you can see on the two year chart. You know, there's also some pretty good resistance uh, here here in the 8 area right here. So that'd be a convenient place to put a target price if you're an analyst, and then a convenient place to uh, start to short it or start to sell your position once it hits if you're Golf Capital or, or another hedge fund. Okay, so uh, I, I think this is probably, you know, going to be on close watch for a short play. Probably was good off of $8 there. And I have a feeling it might pop a little bit right on the open and it might fade down tomorrow. It's definitely due for a correction when it's up this big on five-day chart like this. So uh, keep it on watch. And if you're long, it's probably a good time to take your profits. You know, don't give back your gains. 
don't wait don't wait too long to where your your, game, your you know your green turns into red because you don't take your profit lock in the green if you're long and watch this for, uh, on the short side if you have shorts available in the stock all right i hope this was helpful and uh, email me if you have any questions bprising1 at gmail.com or join our team our trading room i provide stock alerts and i teach about my strategies um so just let me know if you're interested in that, bprising1 at gmail.com. And until the next video, thanks guys for watching. I really appreciate it, and have a good one.